the Kufa Drone Channel. My name is Jarno. This is a new episode of the Legend of the Sea Ship Construction Series. I'm always looking to try new things and improve the content without just re-uploading the same video under a different title. Whenever there's a big update in the construction, I'll release a short status video as quickly as possible, thanks to footage from Yana Petteri. And when I'm back on site, I'll capture fresh video material too. Most of this narration is AI generated. I hope it doesn't hurt, but I do it to save my time. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these quick updates and if we should also start a series on the fourth Icon class ship from an early stage. And now let's jump into today's update. Last Friday, August 29th, the Legend of the Seas took a big step forward with its launching ceremony, and as tradition goes, it all started with a cannon salute. And here it is. Next, the dry dock started filling with water, a process that takes several hours, as this massive basin needs to be completely flooded. To give you some perspective, this same stage took a approximately nine hours for Legend's sister ship, the Star of the Seas. Then on Saturday, August 30th, the dry dock gates opened, and the small tugboats began preparations to move the Legend of the Seas. I was personally amazed to see how these support vessels fit right inside the dry dock, alongside the legend. Here's an incredible shot of it. After all the preparations, the massive ship was ready to be moved. The legend of the seas floated in the water for the very first time for about two hours, not under its own power yet, but being gently pushed around by tugboats. After that foggy Saturday, months of work inside the ship begin, with lots of progress in the outfitting phase. And then, when spring finally arrives in Finland, the days get longer, the sun comes out, and maybe my fingers won't freeze completely while filming with the drone. That's when the next big adventure begins, the sea trials. Finally, did you notice those structures behind the dry dock? Those are parts of the fourth Icon class ship. Its construction is already underway, even if we can't see much of it yet, but it's coming. At this point, I want to give a big thanks to Jana Petteri for all his help. Without him, this video wouldn't have been possible. And a huge thank you to all of you, every single viewer, who has joined along the way. I really hope you enjoyed this video in addition to the more traditional ones I've made before. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Star of the Seas videos. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If there are enough, maybe I'll make a video just about them. Thanks again and see you next time.